the wonderful world of fava beans. We'll be seeing some more as this video transpires. Uh, my name is Mike Bront, uh, permaculture certified designer living in Eugene, Oregon, currently operating in urban environments. Some nice tomatoes there. Um, we have quite unusual tomatoes actually growing this year. Um, so let's move on to some of the, oh sorry, you, you, you wanted to be noticed too. Okay, so here, as you can see, lots more fava beans. We, we always plant farvas over winter, we're in spring. It's the uh, 25th of May actually at the moment. Um, and uh, the farvas are beginning to come on. Uh, there's some nice garlic there that we planted uh, October, November last year and out. Um, so what, what I really am trying to do here is, is to demonstrate how that growing food is not, is not difficult. Uh, we haven't done any digging here at all. Uh, it's all sheep mulched, even this big hula culture bed. Um, so last year we grew three sisters in here. It keeps evolving every year, basically getting bigger. We're doing three sisters again. Here's some nice, I think those are buttercup squash uh, that we're growing there. And uh, we grew butternut last year, that did very well. Same similar too. And on we go. Free portal entry, right now, yes, food portal, we all should have one. This is a, a potato that was a potato plant that came from a potato that was in the back of my fridge. We've got lots of beans growing there um, of all different kinds. Uh, and this is, a, this is a little addition we made, it's a keyhole bed basically. And uh, I dropped uh, a good number of collard seeds in here and a few kale and some lettuce too. Lots, lots of collards. Collard is an, an amazing plant, by the way. It grows very well here in the Pacific Northwest. Lettuce is in that bed there. And look out, the blackberries are coming to get us. Uh, we, we keep them controlled, but we don't kill them because blackberries are an amazing. I mean, some people say you can't kill them, but I certainly don't want to. So this is a little greenhouse we have. Um, Here's some pepper plants that go out every day. Once it gets warmer uh, in the evenings, I'll, I'll leave them out. This is new tomatoes and peppers. Um, tomatoes coming up first. And then what comes next? Good grief, what's that? Well, those are old seeds that I didn't think were going to do anything, otherwise I wouldn't have planted them like that. We've got about 100 tomato plants there, by the way. And they're, they're all pretty unusual. Um, so that's our composting in the distance there. We, we built it from pallets. Um, and uh, we're gonna, drawing towards the end of the video, I like to keep them short, but I did want to show a nice little surprise. Uh, well, yes, tomatoes are always a surprise, particularly when they fruit. No, this is a surprise. Oak, young oak trees that we rescued yesterday. Rather exciting. Thank you. 